The Mare Legacy, Inspiring Space Structures Design, by Herbert Klimke and myself, Jaime Sanchez Alvarez. We have just a few minutes to draw your attention to some space structures which might inspire your work. We have here a selection of notable space structures which have been built with MERO. MERO is one of the oldest commercial space structure systems. It has been used to build inspiring space structures. Why inspiring space structures? Just an initial short answer. Because they have a very good architectural and engineering design and they have been materialized accordingly. And how to materialize a good space structure design? Also shortly, with an adequate construction system like MERO. Not the only one, but perhaps one of the better ones. Let's have a look at MERO's contribution to space structure design. The construction philosophy. Constructing with elements is a very efficient and economic manner of building space structures. From Mengeringhausen, inventor of the MERO system, in his book, Composition in Space, summarizing the art of building space structures with elements or components produced in series, valid in 1940 and valid today for free forms built with components that are automatically fabricated. And here, components that were developed between the mid 1940s and today. Top left, the classical Mero system with spherical nodes and round tubes connected with bolts. The others, not just fancy ways of connecting members, but technical answers to design and construction requirements. The MERO components, nodes and members, can be used to build a wide range of spatial configurations. Going from regular to freeform structures. Early regular space structures had a low number of member links and angled combinations of incident parts at the node or node angles. A quantum leap in the development of MERO space structures was liberating the node from fixed node angles, and this enabled the construction of spatial configurations of any geometric shape. And this, thanks to advances and falling prices of computers and the development and refinement of design methods and design tools. At NERO, algorithms were developed for automating the technical process. Member and node dimension, automating nodding, milling and, and drilling, automating fabrication component lists, and also the automatic production of assembly plans. The MERO legacy has also to do with the efforts to optimize construction. Here, the simplification by integrating functions that is integrating support and shelter, which is equal to integrate structure and cladding in one construction package. Example, the Stockholm Globe Arena built with a bowl node, where sandwich panels were directly applied on the square tubes of the top layer of the space structure. Optimizing construction also means refining the space structure's design as the Eden project illustrates. Here we have a complex double-layered hex 3 hex geodesic grid with low density, equal to high transparency. Also, we have the integration of large ETFE cushions with the top layer tubes of the space frame. The structural optimization criteria was to minimize dead weight and deformation, and all this was achieved by applying the bow node space frame system which is bolted and has semi-rigid top layer connections. By the year 2000, MERO got its first large freeform project, the two halls for the Esplanade Art Center in Singapore. MERO advanced design, construction and fabrication technology could be applied to materialize complex freeform architectural envelopes, such as this multi-layer construction system consisting of space structure, glazing system, and shading system in one construction package. On the right-hand side, you can appreciate the successful materialization of the architectural design. This kind of freeform space structures 
require geometric model extensions, such as vectors to orient construction components on a surface. This technique was incorporated in MERS technical processing in the early 90s. On the left, you see a freeform grid with normal vectors at nodes and at midpoints of lines. Normal vectors were essential to implement the construction of other freeform structures, such as a grid shell for the Milan Trade Fair. For this structure, a double disk node was especially developed to connect high sections which are subject to bending. Once you have a stable and consolidated technical processing, you want to know how far you can go with it. You want to reach out to the limits, as illustrated here with the largest space structure in the world, at least in 2009, built for the Ferrari Experience Leisure Center in Abu Dhabi. The roof structure has a surface of approximately 200,000 square meters, 40 meters above ground over 32,000 spherical nodes and over 125,000 round tubes with a total length of 400 kilometers. Design start November 2007, assembly termination mid of 2009. After several decades of seeing space structures as dominant architectural elements, designers and clients wanted to perceive another expression of architectural elements, such as a surface or the skin of a hall, enclosing and defining the architectural space. Here, the space structure had to be concealed as a skeleton, together with its supporting function, to let the external skin find the required visual expression. Example, the superb design of Zaha Hadid for the Baku Cultural Center. What do you think? We hope this has been inspiring. It is now your turn to continue. Thank you for your attention.